So what's going on guys, Kate's here, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'll show you top 10 best Fortnite chapter 2 zone wars maps in Fortnite creative mode. In this past two weeks a lot of creators were creating Fortnite chapter 2 zone wars maps as well with the new mechanics which developers implemented. So in general I looked into about 100 maps and these are the top 10 best ones. You'll be able to choose how many players you want to play with so you can have as much fun as possible and get a really good practice in these new maps. And on top of all that, each of them will be unique with different codes, different mechanics and as well different textures. In the past seasons, I have given you the best videos ever, showing you the top best list of Zone Wars maps and here's another one. And with that said, let's get right into it. So take a look at the first map on my list is the one and only Battle for Olympics Zone Wars map. Okay, so in the first place, I wanted to give you a really unique map which has really amazing design. This map was a remake from the previous Fortnite Season 10 Olympics map, but obviously with a, a lot bigger design, better textures and every single thing has been tested. So there'll be no bugs or no glitches whatsoever. Each player will be able to choose the starting lobby, how many teams they want to play with, so either way everyone is by themselves or a 2v2, 3v3 or 4v4. So basically you get full customization ability. Then each player spawns in his different location and you can start fighting. At the start each participant will get 500 materials on each material type and a random loadout which every single time will change. But with the new mechanics all the weapons and different loadouts will be kind of close to each other so that there would be a huge disadvantage over other luckier enemies and on top of all that this game mode will give you health per kill. If you want to try this amazing map then this is it. Then take a look at the second map on my list is really cool seasonal zone wars map. Okay so first things first in general there'll be about 8 to 10 different locations and 10 different storm areas. For each and every minute the zone will start moving to a different location and by doing that basically making in one map 10 to 15 different designs so you never get bored and you get to use to every single terrain. So that means at the start for example you'll be starting to fight in a desert area then you'll go into the forest where there are a bunch of trees then for example in the towers where there are a bunch of buildings and you basically get the drill. This map is called seasonal so that means every single season item object or location will be implemented in this map as well. So guys if you were looking for a really unique and awesome map with obviously all the things the same as previous map had with the random loadouts being able to switch teams and much more then you should definitely try this map for sure. Then with that said now we have come to the third map which is personally my favorite which is called the Paradise Zone Wars map. So for me personally I really like beach zone wars maps, I don't know why, I guess I like the open space and the pre-built building so it actually feels like in a real zone wars match. Like I said the design and textures in my opinion looks 10 out of 10, all the buildings will be pre-built so each of you will spawn in his different block. So by doing that there'll be no automated mechanics so you won't ever get bugged or glitched in at the start, all the loadout and materials will appear at the start and you have time to sort any items or whatever you want. Then obviously whenever the timer is done you start fighting and have fun. In my opinion open space maps are the best zone wars maps that you could ever have. At the start each you can start sniping, fighting and whatever and at the end when the zone shrinks in and it's a lot smaller there are thousand built materials so you actually feel like in a real battle royale situation. If this sounds interesting to you then check this one out. Then take a look at the fourth map on my list is the uphill zone wars map 2.0. So if you were playing in previous season the zone wars game or playlist then you'll definitely be familiar with this map. But for now it is updated to 2.0 so all the bugs and many more things are fixed. The zone does move as fast and it actually makes it really realistic and you will feel like you actually feel in endgame at battle royale. The storm as well will be taking only 1 to 2 damage per second and obviously health per elimination will be a thing as well. This map is made purely for close combat action and at the pre-game lobby you can choose either way play a solo or a duo game mode. If you're a fan of using traps, using healing items, jump pads, trying to get the best advantage and just have a close combat action zone wars map then this will be the perfect map for you. Then with that said now we have come to the fifth map which is ice and fire zone wars map. Okay so first things first like you can see for yourself the theme is really clear. This map will be and has that ice slash fire theme effect and on top of all that there's a bunch of lava underneath the whole map. So you can use this map for your best advantage either way jab down to the lava and get a bit better speed but take some damage or try to get as high as possible on the high ground, destroy other players and much more. 
Each player will be spawned in his different island and whenever the map and the timer is done, you can start fighting. As well, the loadout will be similar, so M4 and a pump and SMG. Nothing too much, not many healing items or anything like that. In my opinion, this is a kind of OG slash just an average map with really cool design. The map obviously will shrink to 15 zones, each and every zone will be different and going further the map will shrink even more and take more damage. If you would like to try this one out then here it is. Then whenever we are taking a look at the next map on my list is a cool and amazing zombie invasion zone wars map. Okay so the main things that you need to know is that you'll get unlimited materials on all material types. Like you can see for yourself design and textures will have that alien slash volcano theme and every single second that you're in the storm you'll take 10 health per second. Each player will get random materials and there'll be 10 storm locations. Whenever the first storm location is done you'll get moved to a different zone and it will shrink by a little. And obviously like in Delpa yourself at the end the storm itself will be really small so making it even more futuristic. But in my opinion not only the textures itself that makes this map really unique but as well that each player will be spawned on top of the sky so each view will be able to use the redeploy slash gliding system, land wherever you want and then start fighting. If you want to try this one out then this is it. Then going over to the seventh map on my list is a zone wars map in a huge city. Okay, so this is another open space map, but this time there are a bunch of random buildings. If you take a look at the map itself, yes, a lot of times nothing will make sense. For example, there'll be a tilted towers, clock building, and then on the other hand, there'll be the desert, small shed, bunch of green grass buildings, and just random desert and green blocks. So guys, if you ever want to try out in this kind of cool slash random zone wars map, and you enjoy the random textures and the map of design then this will be the map for you. The unique thing about this one is not only the design but every single time you'll have the same loadout as every single player. So no one will get advantage, better or luckier loot. Each you will spawn in different locations and after the timer is done you can start fighting. So whenever you get out of materials you can just destroy towers and get more. So you have two things at the same time you have a natural cover to not waste your materials and maybe get better advantage and at the same time a resource to get materials. Whenever you eliminate someone you'll get his 50 health or 50 shields and then all of his items and materials. If you guys like this map and want to try this one out then I would recommend for sure. Then going over to one of the last maps on my list is the zone wars map in a huge lava world. So obviously this map has really unique and amazing style and textures and almost every single block that you'll be able to see will be on a lava or something that will take damage away from you. As well at the start each of the players will get custom new weapons and a bunch of vaulted ones which you would be able to play in the previous seasons. Each player will get 500 materials and will start from a really similar spot. So right away whenever the timer will be done you have to build because one block away will be another teammate and then the storm will be moving forward. And then obviously you have to move forward to not die, try to eliminate other players and get to the last storm. And even at the end there'll be a huge galaxy infinite pit. So if you drop down to the zero level you'll die instantly. In my opinion yes this zone wars map isn't realistic and in my opinion that's why I chose this one. If you want real simulation of the maps then you'll choose the previous ones but if you want something futuristic and something that you haven't ever played then this map is for you for sure. Then going over to the next map on my list is a pro player zone wars map in a vortex theme. So again this is another remade map from the vortex playlist that you could play from the previous season. All the terrains and textures are updated as well all the bugs are fixed. This was all the pro player and fan favorites so they remade it and made it even more better. All the weapons will be the same as from the previous seasons and with the implemented new ones. At the pre-game lobby you can either way choose a solo, duo, trio or as a squad game mode. The map is really simple but making it even really fun and real simulation. If you ever wanted to play something that all pro players are playing that isn't too futuristic, doesn't have too many features but at the same time gives you a really good practice then this is the map for you for sure. And having said that now we have come to the last map which is a jungle zone wars map. So like you can see for yourself it is a floating island. At the start each player will get a random loadout and new snipers as well for each and every loadout. So this map will improve your aiming a lot. Not only you'll get always pump and a shotgun or SMG and an M4 but always you'll have sniper, some type of tactical shotgun, M4 and bunch of healing items. Making that you can practice either way if you like long range, medium range or close range. 
This is a custom Zone Wars map with a custom Storm, realistic design and in my opinion it looks 10 out of 10. If you want to try this one out then here it is. And for that said I really do appreciate it for watching and I hope you enjoyed. This was my top 10 list of the best creative Zone Wars maps in Fortnite Chapter 2. If you want different map codes and different lists then check my channel out and you'll find every single one of them. If you have any questions or future video improvements let me know down below and with the rest of it you already know. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to click that like and subscribe to keep up to date with every video that I make which is every single week. And last but not the least enable that notification bell so you would get notified when a new video is up and running. I really do appreciate it for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Kate, you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true.